welcome to a classic Nahuatl lesson. Today's lesson is about the alphabet. The alphabet is a writing system that describes the sounds of a language, in this case the Nahuatl language. I created an alphabet and this alphabet is designed to show uh, the sounds of the Nahuatl language. So this alphabet is basically of mine, but you can use that so it will make you easy to understand and to learn the Nahuatl language. Well, let's start with the letter A. The letter A in Nahuatl is A. I've called it At. A. A. The letter A can be short. A or long A ah. okay the letter B the letter B the letter B in what is wetly wetly and it is pronounced as W in the word wet the letter C the letter C the letter C is pronounced chet and it can be pronounced as in the word, in the English word, chip. The letter D. The letter D in Nahuatl is tetli. And this letter can be pronounced as the T in tip, uh, team, uh, t-shirt. The letter E. The letter E. The letter is is called et et and it is pronounced e e e short and long e e e okay so we got next letter is the letter f and this letter is pronounced as the P in English in Paris, um, Peter, and so on. The letter G. The letter G is pronounced in Nahuatl as the letter K. So we say uh, you can pronounce it as cat or something like that. And its noun is noun is ketli. The letter H. The letter H. This pronounce this sound is very difficult and now what um I've called this letter Ashley, but its sounds is very difficult. It depends on where you can find it. For example, you can find it in the middle of two vowels and it will be pronounced as a glottal stop. A glottal stop is a very difficult sound but you will find it in English. You will find it in when you say oh 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 you can hear that stop the glottal stop in the middle Oh 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 that's a plot of stop <laughs> and even you can find it in British English as well as in American English in the word mountain mountain sentence in British English you will find it in the middle of two hours for example button button tweet or uh, and this sound in our is also found at the end of a word so you can find it everywhere but at the end of the word it will be softer okay if you have any doubt you will find it you will find more explication explanations in, on my post uh, next sound is the letter I. 
and this is pronounced uh, it, it, e, 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 e. This sound is very similar to the English sound in bit, spin, um, little, and you can find it short e or long e. Okay. Next sound is the letter J. The letter J and now what is short and even short. And this is because uh, you can pronounce it as the sound in bits or you can pronounce it as the sound in shop. Okay. The next vowel is the letter K and its name is cut. This doesn't have a, a difference. Next sound is the letter the letter L and this is pronounced as the English uh, L so there is no difference just at the end of the word and it is pronounced at the end of a word as um, uh, as a as you can spread out uh, while you're saying uh, for example you can say no cal no cal cal like you're breathing out no cal okay this is not very difficult next sound is uh, and this sound is very difficult is the sound click click it is a very particular sound in, Nahuatl, in the Nahuatl language and this is what makes the Nahuatl uh, very different. Uh, you have to pronounce it continuously. It is not similar to English TL. Uh, it, we don't say little, we would say leak, leak. Uh, so you may say uh, cla, cle, cle, clo, at, it, it, ot. Okay? Just hear the sound. At, clat, et, clet, it, clit, ot, clot. Next sound is the sound. For M, uh, I I call this letter as M, -E, and the sound M is very similar to English sound, to the English sound of the letter M. So you would say, um, for example, go But this sound is very very soft. You don't have to put your your lips mm, together you have to you have to make the sound more soft softer so you have to say we 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 she go and this means mexico we wouldn't say mexico we would say mexico mexico it's like you don't pronounce the letter M and even at the end. The next sound is the sound for the letter N. I call this letter Endly. And this sound is similar to English sound. And the difference is almost the same as the, the, the letter M. You don't pronounce the letter N at the end of the word. Uh, or at the end of a syllable, just like the letter R in English. When you say in English, you may daughter, you may say tota, and you don't pronounce the letter R. And now what is the same with the letter N? You don't say mm, tonan. You may say tona, tona. And you don't have to say tonan, okay?
Antonan means uh, our mother. Okay. <laughs> well, the next sound is for the letter O. The letter L O in English in English. And now what is O O O O O O. Okay. This sound is very similar to the sound uh, in the English word put or good o, o, o. I would prefer to say that this sound is more similar to the Korean o in oppa or to the French word in o, water o de lu okay and this sound can be short or long just like every vowel okay so you may say o o o o o short and long o this vowel is ot next uh, next consonant is the letter p the letter p uh, its name is pet and it is pronounced uh, it doesn't have a difference mm, the next letter is the letter Q and the letter Q is well I've created this Q as uh, as a double consonant sound uh, it is Q its name is quit uh, it is an different from the English in quarter or oh. <laughs> so you can say um, to que to que to que it means a uh, a skirt no que no que uh, my skirt but you can say you can say the goodly, the goodly. You you may say you have to say you must say tactly. Tactly means um, sir. So you can say the goodly, the goodly, the goodly, the goodly, the goodly. Okay, this is a very difficult sound, and I will make another video uh, to describe the difficult sounds. This is just a lesson for the alphabet, okay? Um, the next letter is the letter R. The letter R in Nahuatl would be pronounced as the letter L, so I call this letter Elin. Um, it is very difficult to the letter L. Okay, the letter T. The letter T is pronounced uh, as T. Uh, it doesn't change, so I call this letter T. The next letter is the letter U. The U in now what uh, doesn't exist, but if you find it, you will find you may may pronounce it as O as the letter. Okay, I've called this letter Atinteka Atinteka Ot. Okay, the next letter is the letter B, and this letter I've called it Wet. Okay, it's the same as the letter Wetly. The next letter is the letter W, and this letter is pronounced uh, as in English. So its name is Wewek and it doesn't change. Uh, the, le the next letter is the letter X and this letter is pronounced as the letter in S H in shop, in machine, in uh, sheep or sheet or, or any other word like S H and its name is Eshtli. Okay, the letter Y. The letter Y in our is yet, and it is pronounced 
in the same form as in English. And the last letter. The last letter is the letter C. And this letter is pronounced as a TS and Babes eats. So its name is Zep. Okay. Uh, I think this is um this is all. Thank you. Um just watch um wait for the second video, okay? So good